This is Benson, and he needs a ride. My car just uh, got towed because I couldn't afford the insurance and tag my car up. It's expensive. $20,000 car, you got to pay like almost two grand just to tag it up. These days, his wheels come from the bus, but after September 1st, he won't be able to get on or off one in Gladstone. People do have uh, patience, but patience run out. It ran out for the city of Gladstone. They're ending bus service with Ride KC. On Twitter, the city posted this letter explaining their decision. The city says their contract with the agency for bus, flex, and paratransit service was $87,000 last year. This year, the same services cost $340,000. The reasons for that is we are asking them to pay for transit services that in the past the city of Kansas City, Missouri was subsidizing for the city of Gladstone. Dick Gerald, KCATA's deputy CEO, says Kansas City wants that money for needs in their own city. He says Gladstone was given a heads up three to four months ago, but adds this brings up a bigger issue. One of the challenges that ATA faces, we do not have an independent source of transit funding. We don't have taxing authority. So we're dependent on these annual contracts with various communities like City of Kansas City, Missouri, like Gladstone, to fund services. So what does this mean for Benson? My option is to be stranded if I don't have a ride. <laughs> Not so fast, Benson. The city and Ride KC say this is the alternative. Iris is described as an efficient, on-demand option giving people door-to-door -door service. Gladstone is using Iris during a three-month pilot period. It's free within Gladstone city limits. But if you prefer the bus, the end of the line is coming in less than 60 days. In Gladstone, I'm Bryant Medrick, KSHB 41 News.